Hello, everybody, and welcome to a Parallel Ashcan Pete in action for the first time here at Playing Board Games. I'm going to read them again, just so I remember. You begin the game with Pete's guitar in play as a reaction when a card you own that is attached to a scenario card would be discarded, added to your hand instead, limit once per round. Uh, choose a card you own attached to a scenario card. You may return the chosen card to your hand. Easy. Um, and then Pete's guitar. Exhaust Pete's guitar. Choose a non-elite enemy at your location or connecting location. Move that enemy once in the direction of your choice. Then if there are no enemies at your location. That, <laughs> that's a very powerful ability. Anyway, uh, Trish is here too. So let's uh, get a good opening mulligan, shall we? One, two, three, four, five. We have a trap. What is Trish? What's cooking in Trish's kitchen? One, two, three, four, five. Lucky cigarette case on turn one is kind of like where we want to be. Chuck Fergus, also really good. Uh, there's a lot, I mean, there's a lot of juice to be squeezed out of this hand here. In the know, it's very powerful, especially in this scenario. I never even thought about that. Um, over here, I like Granny. I mean, I like Take Heart question is when are we going to fail a test probably not till this location uh we don't want barricade i think we can lose guts do we want the snare trap no we don't want that in our opening hand i think we just run like this and just like see if we get we're looking for makeshift trap oh hey okay uh that's a really good uh that's a good mulligan <laughs> This is the stuff that you kind of want to see. This is the stuff that you kind of want to see. Over here, I think I can kill you. Two, two, six, two, two, six, two, bum, 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 do this, two, do that, do, and then we have this. I think I'll keep the end of the no. Oh, sure. Okay. Yeah, this is kind of a bonkers opening hand. All right. Despite the advice of the Dreamlands inhabitants, you and your companions seek unknown Kadath where the gods dwell. Um, if you're at a port location, resign. Venturing into the unknown has become too dangerous, so you return to the safety you've gathered. Um, and then we got Kingdom of the Sky. And then the round investigators at a port location may spend the requ requisite number of clues as a group to advance. All right. Uh, and then we take one of these. There you go, brother. A pack of Vuneths, you say. Okay, well, I am Trish, so I'm going to spend two, and we're going to play a Lucky Cigarette Case. Great start. I am then going to burn the Midnight Oil for action number two, and we go up to um, five resources. We're going to investigate at four to the game's one. Minus two, so we have two. We get to search the top one card of our deck, and we get to draw it. You're back already, huh? <laughs> and we get a clue. Uh, and then for my last action, I'm going to spend one, two, three, four to play beautiful Chuck Fergus. Now over here, I mean, we live to have fun, right? We live to have fun. So we have poisonous remote configuration, net and improved timer. So I think we just go one, two, three. We play the bow. We're going to drop down our makeshift trap on this location. Uh, and we'll have it come in with two time. Not on you, sorry. You're the pack of Vunaths. <laughs> okay. These guys are super easy to kill. Uh, and then I think I'm going to just gain a resource for my last action. Just try to, like, get that money going. And then we go upkeep. Gra I get a Granny Orin. I'll play you. All right. Under surveillance. Okay. Um, what we do now is, at the end of the round, we remove a time from Makeshift Trap. And then, when you remove one or more time from Makeshift Trap, we're going to deal one damage to each enemy at the attached location. Ishkapu, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the goddamn table. It's a pleasure to have you. So we're just going to drop some poisonous gas on these guys. Seems kind of fun. Seems kind of fun. And then we go like this. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay. Uh, Zug Burrow. You could have exhausted the car guitar for another reason. At your location, move that enemy once in the direction of your choice. I don't think I'd want to do that, right? Because I would still have to move an enemy. I assume I can't choose no direction, right? All right, 3-3. Three, three. I think this is probably worth a take heart. Nice. All right, so we're going to draw two cards. Gain two resources. And then uh, if you fail and there are no enemies in play, search the you know, encounter deck for a Zoog enemy, draw it, and shuffle the encounter deck. Hello. Where are some Zoogs? Yeah, I'll take... You? It's going to be engaged with me. Oopsie. And then we go like that. Alright, and then what do you got? Oh, it's only one damage to one enemy? Thank you. We need, oh, that's awful. Yeah, we'll just deal a damage to you then. So it'll go on you. That's actually, like... Much less good than I thought it was. That's okay. It's still fine. Uh, the first time you perform one of the following each round, draw resources to play, cost additional action. If you successfully investigate a location, instead of discovering clues, discard prismatic phenomenon. Okay. Well, Ash Kane, you got a job to do. You got a job to do, and that's to win the game. I attempt to leave this location. All right. Uh, we're going to Pete's guitar. These guys into... <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, this is the stupidest thing. This is the stupidest thing I've seen in my life. I actually think we don't want to do this. I think we actually don't. I mean, we, I think... I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay. Let's go back in time a bit. The poison is certainly changes thing, but it's only deal one damage. I mean, I guess that makes sense, because otherwise poisonous would just, like, trump the explosive device. That does make sense. Okay. Such the cost you may spend to have this attack target a non-elite enemy at a connecting... Yeah, no, we're gonna... I think we do. We send this guy over here. We're gonna gain a resource. We're gonna play Granny Orn. Two, three, four. Um, and then I'm going to shoot into the zoo. I'm going to shoot the stealthy zoo with the bow. So we are six to zero. That seems pretty good. This guy's down. Okay. And then I have an action left. This is attached after it enters attached location. Attached to your location. Okay. Oh, you're dead too, brother. You're also gone. That's what I was like. I was like, I'm missing something. I'm missing something. Uh, I think I'm just going to draw a card. I think next turn we're going to like move into this location and try to get all those clues. Hmm. Okay. We're going to need to get rid of that. All right, Trish is going to investigate. I'm going to use the Burning the Midnight Oil here because we still just get cash. Oh, no, 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 we can't do that one. We have to do it this way, right? Because of this, that's why. Okay, so we're going to investigate four to one. Nice, we'll grab uh, this. Discard clues, discard prismatic. Okay, then we do the burning the midnight oil. There we go, that's the correct sequencing. All right, so we're going to go four to zero. I guess we're just always going to succeed by one. Say less. <laughs> Say less, Day of Reckoning, you're here. 
Uh, better on this on that one than the second agenda for sure. Get this clue. Um, we're gonna spend three for in the know, and then we can go upkeep. I have to discard a card. That's a good draw. It's a very good draw. Um, I think I'm gonna lose the other Granny Orn, and then I'm gonna kill this guy. And then this will return to my hand. Not add, but return. Oh, sorry, not draw, but add. So it's not draw, we just add this to our hand. Okay. Okay. This thing goes here. Two of seven. Evil card. When you initiate an investigate, hey Trish, that can go live on you for a bit. Oh no! I'm gonna say fist bad. Fist bad. Fist bad. The fist is bad. You never see that happen, do you? <laughs> That's kind of one of those things that you just like never see happen. Fist bad, I know. Wild, huh? There's a first time for everything. And today, apparently, everything is fist bad. Okay. One, two. Do, do, do. We can get out of here next turn. All right. I think Pete's going to go first. Pete is going to play Hiding Spot. Fast, attach Hiding Spot to any location. I'm going to choose this location. Each non elite enemy at attached location gains aloof. That seems really good. <laughs> this is why, you know, Ash Camp Pete's kind of, the new parallel, I'm, it's, I'm kind of enjoying it. I'm kind of really digging it. Playing cards that I've, like, I've always been kind of just unplayable or like you know like have like their niche uses it's kind of awesome i'm going to move here we're going to test five to two for this as we try to leave okay sure all right spawn that enemy engaged with you uh, if there are no creature enemies at Sky River, discard cards. There is a creature enemy. It's this guy, the Pack of Vunaths. Haha, <laughs> Gamma, I bet you never saw this coming. Oh no, my bitrate! Alright, back in this. Bitrate's back up. So, uh, if there are no creatures enemies, uh, but there are creepers, so we're going to add a swarm card to this. <laughs> Let's go. You love to see it. Uh, then I'm just going to move out of here for my last action. Attach hiding spot to any location. Each non-elite enemy at attached location gains aloof. At the end of the enemy phase, if a ready enemy is at attached location, we discard hiding spot. Wild. All right, Trish. Trish is going to move. Trish is going to move in here. I don't have the money to play uh, this, huh? That sucks. Um, I guess I'm just going to investigate... We investigate four to three. We take a horror. We can commit this. We go seven to three. So we go eight to three. I kind of dig it. Helps us get like our lucky sick red case going. We can get this out next turn. Yeah, I'm kind of down for that. We'll take a horror <clears throat> and then we're going to just go eight to three. So we have six. So we succeed by three. So let's look at the top three. I'll grab the first of my three aces, I suppose. I'll grab a clue. Okay. And then, uh, this gets discarded, but I would like to return it to my hand. Thank you. And then we go upkeep. I have to lose a card? Well, that's 
Very funny game. <laughs> That's a neat trick that you just pulled. Um. I mean, what, we lose Guts? Guts is, like, the least exciting card in our hand here. Everything else does something that's, like, really fun with Ashcan Pete. Alright. Three of seven. Evil card over here. Fist bad. Fist is gonna be bad, chat. Fist bad again. We're not fighting with our fists here. Oh, that's awesome. We're not moving out of that location. Awesome. That's great. That's really lucky. <clears throat> okay, well, Trish, why don't you start us off? Go one, two, three. Play lockpicks. Let's use the lockpicks. We're going to investigate at eight to three. Nine to three. We got to look at the top six. Now we're cooking with gas. I think we take the breaking and entering, right? Grab the clue. And this is at the end of the round. And then I'm gonna just gain a resource for my last action, I think. We gotta save up for this somehow, right? All right, we're gonna get rid of the hard times. And then I actually can use this to move this guy up here, right? Choose the line in your location or connect location. Move the enemy once in the direction of your choice. I will choose to gain a resource. Pretty good. Give me a card. Pretty good. Let me go upkeep. Pretty good. Ah, fuck. <laughs> That's okay. I actually think they die. All right, let's advance this. All right. You find a captain willing to grant you passage to the remote regions of the Dreamlands, wherein you may find signs from the gods to point you in the direction of Kadath. Uh, search the encounter deck, discard pile in all play areas. For cats of Ulthar, each pack of units, each card from the Zook's encounter set, and remove them from the game. Shuffle each set aside, priest of a thousand mats in the counter deck, along with the discard pile. Everything's going good until we get an elite enemy. Then we gotta start worrying about it. We can enter discard pile. Alright, so we move each Zoog. Zoog. There you go. Give me my hiding spot back. So, cats. I need Zoog. I need Zoog. Wondrous Land stays. Furtive Zoog. Pack of Vunus go. Zoog. Cool. That's it. And those guys come in here. Get these punks out of here. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to go top to bottom. So, move your location and play. Each enemy and attachment to those locations is discarded. So you're discarded. You're an enemy at that location. So you don't come with me. Oh, I didn't look at this. <laughs> That's okay. We're just going to say I looked at it. It's just easier that way. We draw a card. Um, yeah, they go away. Cool. All right. Get out of here. Get out of here. Discarded. Oriab. Populate. Okay. Um. Okay. 
Seems kind of sick. We go four of seven. Evil card over here. Hunted by Corsairs. I guess we're taking damage. I'm going to put that on your side, Trish, because you're more likely to pass it. And Maga Bird. Okay, that's on you, Pete. That's your job to get through this. Okay! Well, it's our turn. What tricks do we have to deal with this guy? So I think we want to kick the hornet's nest for our first action. I'm pretty sure that's what we want to do. So we want to look at the top nine. And give me a priest of a thousand masks, I think. So we gain health value. So we would have got two either way. Oh, we got to discover a clue. Then I'm going to play him a tune. Da, 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 You know, and then he gets sent over here. And I'll gain a resource. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Just to remember Justin saying he wants parallel dungeon investigators, then this happens. I did say that with some knowledge that they were coming, so... I don't want to take too much credit for predicting the future. Okay. So then I think we throw our trap over here and we put two time on it. And then that's going to slowly kill this guy. It's not fast. Then our last action, we're going to do um, five to four. Good job, Pete. Song of the Maga Bird? He's like, nah, here's a real song. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. Now maybe. <laughs> That's Pete for you. And after all. Okay. Yeah. Tiptoe through the tulips. Alright, we're gonna investigate our location. We have eight to two. We're gonna start there. Nine to two. So we succeed by seven. <sighs> what a choice. I think I'm going to take Kick in the Hornet's Nest. Spawning is the same as entering, right? No Hunter on either of these guys. Let me grab the other clue. We're going to flip this over. Each investigator may turn an item or supply from their discard pile to their hand. Sad. Uh, we've obtained supplies from Baharna, so we can enter this location with no fear. Let 
Okay, I think I'm gonna move. No, I was gonna go there, but maybe not. Maybe we do that next turn. Because we can move in. Move in. Do this. I think we have to do it. I think we have to do it like this. I do think I need to move into this location this turn. Yes, you can do the guitar ability after the hunter enemies move. Yes. Just have them come up and be like, no, get out of here. I don't want you to attack me. And then they're just like, okay, sure, sure. I'm going to play this under surveillance here. Okay, and then we go upkeep. After a non-elite enemy enters attached location, exhaust that enemy and disengage from all investigators and attach snare trap to it. When attached enemy would ready, instead discard snare trap. Ooh, that's a good draw. If we can ever afford it. Five of six. Oh, remove a time and put a damage on you. All right, what are we, what's cooking in this kitchen? Now, you know where you need to go. <laughs> <laughs> Just for future reference. Sorry, and you also have to take a direct damage. That's okay. Because I am investigating. Yeah, sending all these non-elite enemies into timeout. Yeah, Dynamite Cerner probably would have been better here. But I do remember saying that I wasn't sure how the window worked for that, so I just didn't want to even think about it. Okay. And apparently resources ain't a problem. I think we want Trish to go first, and Trish is going to kick the hornet's nest. It's top nine? Yeah. Give me the one I can get. All right, so we're going to discover a clue at our location, and we're going to gain two resources. And then, uh, this guy is going to enter this location. So we, we discard this, automatically evade that enemy, and discover a clue to attach location. I realize I actually could have just done it like this. No, because then we wouldn't, have, we wouldn't be able to get the clue and evade him, right? That's why I did that. And then we can flip this one over. We've uncovered a sign of the gods. Let's go. Flip this card back over. Um, I'm going to choose to gain a resource, I think. And this guy's super exhausted. I think I'm honestly going to keep this pretty simple. I think we're just going to drop the tarot down and then we're going to move up here. Just keep it nice and simple. No. No, we're not going to do that. Are we? We're not going to do that. We're going to move into this location. You're not an enemy. <laughs> I am then going to fast out breaking and entering. And we're going to go 8 to 3. Minus 2. So we have 6. I got to look at the top 3 cards of our deck. I think I take the kick and um, we're running out of enemies, but I think I just take it. Okay. I'm going to choose to automatically evade an enemy, which is going to be this guy. And then, because he is defeated, he will die. Well, when he is so when he is defeated, he will die. When he's evaded, we discard it. Uh, we grab a clue with this. I'm going to grab a clue with my ability. 
Oh, I took a horror too, I guess, from this one. Damage tokens on makeshift? Thank you. <clears throat> um, and then I'm going to lightning bolt this guy to this location. Yeah. Um, we find another sign of the gods too. So we're going to choose to, I don't know, draw a card. <laughs> and we shuffle a Tenebrous Night God into the deck. Okay. And we're in three signs of the gods. So this guy now has plus two health. No, no, he has plus one fight and plus one evade. Okay. Ain't no problem. Um, and then I think Trish is just going to move up here for her last action. We've gotten a lot of free clues here. All right. And then this goes back over here. Uh, we're going to attack this guy. So we're going to go five to the game's three. Seems good. We have luckies. And we'll use one. This guy's dead. And we only spend... Excuse me, I was literally about to read that. And we only spend charges if we attack an adjacent location, right? Nice. Okay. Would be discarded. Okay, so we actually still get this even if we advance. They're both... No, this one's objective. This one's forced. So this one actually will happen first. Uh, Alright, let's go upkeep. Oh, let's go! Okay, I'm really excited for this next turn. Holy hell. Marksmanship is like an extra arrow. Hell yeah. It's an arrow that I'm just shooting a rifle out of. Okay. Okay. Uh, forced. This goes out of time. Back into my hand, please. Uh, we will then spend... We'll advance. Shuffle the encounter deck. The scar pile into the deck. Uh, we're going to go to Minar, please. Take me to Minar. Take me to Minar. We also each take two damage, by the way. But I figured we can probably survive that. And this is also gone. And this is also gone. This one will be gone first. So this actually should be in the deck. And this will also be in there. Yes, okay. Perfect. You see something that's not supposed to be in there, chat? How do I put that in there? Okay. So now we go six of seven. Evil card over here. Fist bad. Fist, it's bad. Maga bird. Okay. Now it's time to see if my dastardly little plan is going to work. Okay, what are these guys? Oh yeah, Storming Player. Here you go. Eat, brother, eat. During the enemy steps attack, instead of attacking its engaged investigator, Beans of Ib attacks each investigator at its location, even if it is unengaged. I have to discard a card from my hand, huh? Dude, I think it's probably just one of these resourcefuls. When are we ever going to do any of those tests? 
I think resourceful is not where we want it. In this Pete deck, I don't think resourceful is the way. Okay. Pete. Is going to play ambush here. Uh, and then I think we just try to, like, break through this Maga Bird. I don't think it's going to happen, but we're just going to go 5 to 4. It's kind of all we can do. Sure, I'll try one more time. Cool. Sometimes you just got to face check locations, right? Uh, Trish is going to kick the Hornet's Nest. Freaking punk. Hello, sir. Okay. Um, we are going to get ambush to trigger. If there are no investigators at attached location, discard ambush. Uh, and then after an enemy spawns, we'll deal two damage to that enemy. So we're going to kill one of these guys. Less exciting than I was hoping, but still really good. We're going to gain two clues, I think. One with Trisha's ability, one with this. Then we gain two resources. I also can make that fast. So we're going to make that fast. Oh. All right. Uh, we're then going to have Pete move his guitar over here. And we're going to gain a resource. Yeah, Pete's, uh, Pete's very good. Pete is, uh, I would say, almost like even just like too good. The guitar just seems really good. I think it's going to go down in value when there's more players potentially. Like in terms of like what it can be capable of. And also like maybe just Pete and Trish are just really good together. But... Where it's like, it's just like kind of like ignoring enemies. It's it's kind of fun. All right. You know what? I think I'm actually going to move this guy here. No, these guys can go runes locations. Actually, never mind. Um, I think we're going to go in the no. Oh, no, I've already used my ability this turn. We'll do that next turn. I think it's finally time to drop down the tower, and then I'm just going to draw a card for my last action. We get it. You want me to follow people? Sure. Oh, this goes back into my hand, by the way. Um, But I think I could probably just get rid of it. Once again, I think I'm just going to burn the resourceful, though. Oh, it's free! Alright, months have passed since you first set forth from Ulthar. Along the way, you have seen many fabulous places and met many strange and interesting people. Um, some have been helpful, giving you sage advice or pointing you in the right direction. Most, however, regarded you with suspicion and wariness. Perhaps it is because you are a dreamer from the outside world, or perhaps it is because you are foolish and cursed enough to seek the forbidden places of the dreamlands. But as the Corsairs who truly frighten you, throughout your travels you spot them pursuing you, pursuing you time and time again. Men of Lang, the inhabitants of the dreamlands, call them satyr-like creatures with hooves instead of feet and great curved horns protruding from their foreheads. They sail on long black galleys with black sails. You know not why they hunt for you relentlessly, and you are not keen to find out. Shuffle the Corsairs. They're finally here, huh? What was the promise? He didn't know how it worked? I mean, I... For me, I would make it so that it still goes back into your hand. But there's already been some people being like, but what if it doesn't? And I just wasn't that speed today. I didn't want to try to, like, get into the logistics of the rules. Hello, sir. Oh, hello. Okay.
All right, watch this. We're gonna toe to toe this guy. Actually, I mean, we could just shoot him first, right? We go five to three. It's pretty comfortable. Minus two. He's dead. He doesn't get the health yet. Okay. And then I'm going to drop... <laughs> I'm going to drop this makeshift trap over here with three time on it. I should have done this last turn. And then for my last, I mean, we're going to send you go over here. And for my last action, Friggin', I mean, I'll put an owing in a resource as well. I'll put an ambush over here on this again. Might as well. That's why it's here, right? We're not planning on leaving this location. All right. I think Trish is going to get rid of her Tichophobia. And then we're going to in the know this location. So we're going to go four to one. All right, we succeed. I'm going to choose to get an additional clue at that location. And I also get to look at the top one card in my deck and put it into my hand. Oh! Don't mind if I do. I feel like Learn Dynamite would be hella busted. With yeah, yeah, no, no. He does seem like he has a lot of... But it's, it's, it's so... It's good. Because he's taking advantage and like using cards that otherwise aren't that powerful it's good it's actually like good for the card pool you know yeah that's the discourse that was uh surrounding it <clears throat> okay what do i do with my last action Um, I think I just draw a card. Hmm, interesting. Okay. No one's got Hunter? I'll keep. I'll keep. Uh, remove one of these and kill one of those. Okay, I do at least need to play Lure and Snare Trap before this is done. Otherwise, what was the point of me putting them in my deck? Alright. Evil card. Evil card number one. <laughs> you fucking idiot. You just took two damage for no reason. Alright, you took no damage. <laughs> Alright, so we have a slight issue here. Is that there's just a lot of enemies on the board and none of them are dying. <laughs> but I mean, I think things still look really nice. So I think we start with a toe-to-toe -to -toe over here. So this guy's going to deal us damage and a horror. And then he's going to die.
These guys are aloof. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, so let's just continue to kick the can down the road, right? Move this guy over here and heal a horror. And then <laughs> uh, uh, okay. And then I've already returned a card to my hand this turn. So I guess we just we just wait one more turn, so we don't do that this turn. I think I'm going to play Snare Trap here. And then... And next turn we can actually get out of here. So next turn we're getting out of here, chat. That's a, that's a YouTube guarantee. So, no, what we actually do, we're going to have to, this makeshift trap. I think we're going to shoot into this location. Hey, Julie. Hello. We're going to shoot the beans of it, and we can target aloof and, uh, can, uh, aloof enemies with this. So we're going to go six. And I'm going to go seven. We're going to go seven to four. All right. This guy's dead. He would have died the slow way, but I kind of want the experience because I think we're actually going to be able to get out of here this next turn. And then... I think I just draw a card. That's a good draw. Okay. Trish is going to in the know this location. So we're investigating. Four to three. I'm going to go five, six to three. Beat the skull. Didn't even need it. I'll grab an additional clue because of my ability. Thanks. Lucky, lucky guy. Yeah, he's a lucky little guy. And then... I think I just spend 1, 2, 3, 4 to play a damning testimony. Doesn't a single lure kind of infinite stun enemies as long as you have a location behind you? Uh, yeah! Yeah, assuming you do nothing else. I mean, that doesn't sound fun, does it? Assuming you do like nothing else with your turn, you're just like, just like moving. And I mean, like, once again, if you have more players and you just draw more, you're just going to end up like, I think getting, I guess I think like, right now, the reason we all, um, the reason why this is happening as well is because Trish with the in the nose are able to just like not move into locations. Okay, and then for my last action, I'm going to draw a card. Okay. Okay. And then we get to go upkeep. Remove a time from this. <gasps> Speaking of time, there was time. There are no clues in place. This is going to gain search. Fist bad. You cannot play cards triggered with an odd printer. We discard a card with an even printed resource cost. 
Oh no, I'm not gonna be able to play Fallout! I mean, actually, right now, we're kind of fine. The only thing we can't do is an in-the-no and the lockpicks. It's not terrible. This pizza's kind of bordering on busted, just first impression, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But, I mean, I do think Trish is doing more heavy lifting than we need to... I think, like, Pete's doing a lot, but I think Trish is kind of, um... Also doing a lot to make sure the game actually progresses without leaving. We built, like, a particularly good tandem. Anyways, now I'm going to play Hiding Spot over here. And that's fast. I'm going to clear this out. And then I think I'm going to just... Draw a card? Hey. Alright. And then Trisha has a pretty easy turn. She's going to move here. And she's going to flip this. We've uncovered a sign of the gods. I'm going to choose to draw a card. Have to do an even cost, right? Trish is then going to move over here. <clears throat> Remember, oh. Okay, I could not kill those guys, right? Oh, what did I do? Oh, I guess I just went the other way. I just went the other way. That's fine. I just I just went the wrong order. All right, so that's done. We went here first. We know what happened to Ib. Then we move here. And then we come back here for our last action. And we can flip this one to get another sign of the gods and shuffle another Tenebris Knight God in. Just one in the wrong order. If I was moving around the map normally, I definitely would not have done that incorrectly. But I'm not moving around the map normally because I'm cheating, okay? Good turn, Trish. One, two, three. Um, and we're going to just gain a resource, I think. This guy can come back over here. Okay. And then... We advance. We go upkeep again. Hello? <sighs> okay. So we would like to advance. Counter discard pile into the deck. Uh, we're going to be going into the Forbidden Lands for sure. I think I take... I think, honestly, actually, the Hiding Spot is the strongest card here. But I think I still got to take the Trap, right? The trap is why we built the deck. But the hiding spot has been uh, lifting more than I would uh, have thought it would. Dude, you're elite. You're elite. It's going to take me six turns to kill you. <laughs> it's going to take me six freaking turns to kill you. We're at three of nine. Evil card over here. Draw, resource, or play. That's really bad. What's the shroud here? Two? We can probably break through that. Especially if Trish helps. Tenebrous Night God, you say? A Tenebrous Night God. Anyway, just me and the blues. Doom, down, doom, down, doom, down, doom, doom. Just me and the blues. Oh. 
Okay, what the frick am I even doing in my life right now? What am I even doing? Okay, back to this weird puzzle of can I do all of this without... Can I do all of this without moving from this location? That's the name of the game right now. Alright, so I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to investigate. We're going two to two. I'm going to go three. I think I don't need this. We can go four. I'm going to go five to two. Because then if we draw the skull, we can still take hard our way through this. Sorry, we can still uh, lucky our way through this. That one also, we need to lucky it. But this is now gone. So in this, oh, I guess instead of discovering clues, I did the duck. I'm going to not. That was an idiot move on my part. So I'm going to not fix that. I should not have put the deduction there. That was just me being a dummy. Okay. We're going to put makeshift trap here with three time on it. Okay. And what do I do with my last action? You attack this guy at six to four. It's not great. The skulls are becoming hard. If only Jim Skullford was here. I think I just drop an ambush down here. We're trying to run out of juice a bit. We did lose three of our stuff there that turn. Okay. Well, time for me to look at damning testimony. So we get plus two, so we're at six. Exhaust damning testimony and choose an enemy at any location. Investigate your location. If you see, you may spend one evidence to discover... Oh, I guess I don't spend the evidence then. Uh, to spend an additional chosen enemy's location. Okay, I'm going to target Zulon Thek. So I'm investigating at six to two. Yeah. But I'm not as if the... Yeah, so I can't do the Chosen Enemies location. Alright, uh, we're going to go again. Uh, I'm hoping for maybe a not... Oh, no, it's exhausted. Never mind, we're not going again. Okay, well... I think we get rid of this, and we have to get rid of the Followed. And then I'm going to lock picks for my last action. So we're going to go 8 to 3. 8 to 2, sorry. 8 to 2. Cool. We succeed by 6. So I'll look at the top 6 and maybe we'll grab our last 3 aces. Perfect. And then we got to go upkeep. If you parlay draw or investigate, say no more. We're at four of nine. Evil card over here is the Maga bird. This guy's going to take two damage. He has five. So he just has four health. Okay. This can come back to my hand. Also, oh, we remove a time and put a damage on this guy. He's going down. I'm telling you that much. That guy's going down. All right, everyone knows what time it is. It's guitar time. Do 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 do. Maybe the Beat Boys, and then my soul, and then in the rock and roll, and <laughs> and fade away. 
Okay, but what else do we do here? I can flip this thing over. I'll flip it as, I mean, I don't think it matters. The investigator heals two horror and draws two cards. I mean, that's good. She's going to be here until the end of the round. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. 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 Okay, what do we do? <laughs> What do we do, chat? What do we? Wait, ah! I feel like I'm playing such a strange version of Arkham with this. I haven't taken any actions. What do I do? Give me the beat, boys, and free that little old soul. I gotta get right in the rough. <laughs> I feel like I'm going a little bit mad. Right now, Pete's inability to kill is actually kind of our issue. And I mean, we definitely could have built the deck better for that. What are we trying to do? I'm trying to just kick ass. <laughs> trying to just like win the scenario. We're testing five to four on that. All right. Pete's gonna go first. We're gonna go five to four. I'm gonna assume we're gonna fail this. So we're gonna this uh, increase that location shroud. Start an investigation, okay. All right, we passed it. <laughs> the take heart power. The power of take heart. Okay, two actions. I think we have to dig for our other um, hiding spot. So I'm just going to draw a card and draw a card. Okay. Trish is going to start with this. So Trish is going to move until the end of the round. So Trish is going to move here. Trish is going to move here. Trish is going to lock picks this location. And we have 8 to 4. I'll go 9 to 4 to beat the minus 5. Can't beat that. What the heck? There we go. Can't beat that. I don't think that's a problem. We just don't get attacked. And then we gotta go upkeep. Nice. That's big. Okay. So okay, we'll deal some damage to you. Okay. Let's 
We have to add one of these to this. And then I have to lose a card. I think it's a lure. It could be one of these ambushes. I don't think I'm going to play those. Yeah. Okay, I did that. Evil cards. Oh, well, you're going to go to the other place. <laughs> That's where you're going. You're not supposed to be in there. Fuck. All right, so now I'm engaged with this guy, but he cannot attack. I was really hoping to pass that test. Um, I think I'm going to spend two. And we're going to use Chuck Fergus to get plus two while performing this breaking and entering. So we're at ten to four. That's good. So we succeed by enough that I can look at the top three cards in my deck. That's like the surveillance, right? Grab the clue, evade this guy. And then I can do this. You've uncovered a sign of the gods. Uh, yeah, give me another card, I think. And then add a Horde Knight to the victory display. Beauty. And then I get Chuck Fergus, and then you get Guts and Makeshift Trap. Okay. Trish then has two actions remaining. And I think she has to stay here this turn. So Trish is going to discard a card with an even number of icons. It can be Faustian Bargain. And I think I gain a resource for my last action. Over here, we're going to play the guitar. Give me the beat, boys! And then, then you're going to move over there. And then... Sorry, I can gain a resource. Okay, we have a ton of options here. You're dying next turn is my hope. So I hope to kill you next turn. Oh, no, but we can't. So I guess we got to try to kill him now. I can do this. We get attack at six to four. I just realistically have to go up three. I mean, the best is to go up four. I mean, we get, we gotta use. We gotta use this, right? So we're gonna shoot this guy. We're at six to four. I can get to eight. I think we have to. We just have to hope we don't draw a skull. So we're gonna go eight to four. Ugh. So this guy's going to take one, two. Oh, I had to spend the charge to do the extra damage. So one, two, three damage. Okay. That's good. Everything, the plan is coming together. And then for my last action, just give me a card. Okay. Upkeep. That's bad. <laughs> That's really bad. Let's 
six of nine. Oh, sorry, and then these guys, we're going to kill you. And then this can go back into my hand. All right, we don't want to lose. If we lose hiding spot here, we're actually in a little bit of trouble. All right, let's see what we got. Yeah, I can survive taking two damage again. I think that's okay. Okay, well, let's see what goes on here. So we're going to discard a random card. Okay, just toe-to-toe. -to -toe. That's fine. So this guy is a three foot. Oh, sorry. This should have been back in my hand. So I've discarded another card. I should have played that. I was like, maybe I should play that. Get rid of the damning testimony. Oh, I could just do a you handle this one to our good friend, uh, non-parallel encounter card. Here you go, brother. Thank you, Pete. That's very kind of you. All right, let's play the guitar. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna put out a hiding spot here. Um, and then I guess give me a card for my last action. Beauty. I mean, we gotta try it, right chat? Did you get a resource? Nah. I don't think I did. I don't think I need it. But I don't think I did. Alright, we're gonna move in here. I gotta try it once, right chat? We're gonna go two to one. It's unlikely. I have to pass the first test. I'm not gonna commit anything to it. Okay. Okay. Now we're going four to two. I mean, I think I gotta go for it, right, Chad? I think we gotta go for it. Six to two. Okay. All right, let's rock. And now we have a two to three. Well, if only I had three beautiful aces up my sleeve right now. All right, so I'll draw three cards, gain three resources. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then these are removed from the game. You knew this moment they were coming, that's why they were added? I'm always thinking a few, a few rounds ahead. I actually haven't read this one in a while. Throughout these perilous and hellish lands, you are best beset by nameless beasts, hazardous terrain, and creatures too bizarre to describe. Even so, you press onward in the hope that you might learn something of the gods in this forsaken place. On the third evening you spend here, you find a uh, shrine beside a, lack of, a lake of fire, not a lack of fire. Tucked away among a range of volcanoes, the shrine bears a statue carved in the face of the volcanic rock, long forgotten by ancient dreamers and outsiders alike, a mark of the dreamland's gods, perhaps. You draw the statue's likeness in your journal and hope that it might hold some significance. We've uncovered a sign of the gods, and we shuffle to Nebrus Night Gods. Seven is the highest I've had for a very long time. There's no more left. Yeah, and then we'll move here. Okay. Upkeep. Okay. Uh, we should take two damage for this. And then, uh, let's advance it. And we're going to the Timeless Realm for the first time in a long time. Alright. 
Give me Thomas Realm, please. Well, our journey's gonna end here. We're definitely not gonna get through it. But let's see what we got. Yeah. That kills me. Yeah, that's life. Or do we start in Celeface? We start in Celeface, that's what I thought. All right. So what, we just try to get some victory, right? That's that's why we're here. We just try to victory it up. After you successfully investigate it? Just kidding! Just kidding! We're totally fine. We're totally fine, chat. Don't even worry about it. We're not gonna we're not gonna get all the way to the end because this one's very long. But we're totally fine! We're totally fine. Alright. Uh, we're going to kick the hornet's nest. Mm, actually. Oh, no, I spent that. Hello. <laughs> Hello, sir. How are you? You're a big guy. You're not elite. You're just a guy. Yeah, give me you. All right, so this guy comes here. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna make that fast. Actually, am I? Yes, I'm not going to. All right, so then we gain five resources. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, we're going to discover a clue with the kicking the hornet's nest. And then I'm going to discover an additional clue with Trisha's ability. And then I'm going to do the most Ashcan Pete thing I know, which is play my guitar. And move this guy into here. Then, I'm going to move up into this location. I'm going to discard a card from my hand. It's going to be this damning testimony. Well, I guess so. First, I'm going to flip this. We have Beseech the King. Then, I'll move up here. And then, I'm going to pilfer my location. I'm going to get plus two for this. So we have six to three. It's not great. I think I'm going to go seven to three. Skulls ruin our day. Those don't. All right. So this is going to return to my hand at the end of my turn. Um, but I'm going to grab two clues. And then I'm going to, so I had seven, so we have six. So I got to look at the top three cards of my deck. Hey, maybe I can play you yet, game. <laughs> maybe I can play you yet, followed. Yeah, give me this. I'll flip this. Heals two damage and gains two resources. We've uncovered a sign of the gods. I got eight. What's the maximum? Nine, right? The maximum is nine. This is the highest I've ever gotten. And I've played this one with 29 experience decks before. Oh, give me a resource. All right, Ashcan. Probably draw or investigate. Those aren't makeshift trap actions. Is there no... There's no limit to this, huh? All 
I can just go like this like a normal human would. Um, and then I think I'm going to drop down an ambush here. Because I can't shoot into these guys, but that's okay. Alright, upkeep. Alright, last round. I'm not, I'm not going to resign. I'm going to try. I mean, I, I reveal the last location, right? Because there's like, what? Oh, there's, yeah, there's two left. And then what's on this one? Yeah. Oh, it's 10 is the highest. We're definitely not getting there. If the trap explodes, it still returned your hand. I am not qualified to answer that question, unfortunately. <laughs> there was a bunch of talk about it in the channel, in our, on our Discord, and I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> my gut says the intention is yes, but by rules of text, no. That's my, that's my gut interpretation of it. Okay. All right, let's uh, on the hunt. I gotta search for an enemy. Spawn and engage with me instead of its normal location. Oh, sorry, I guess I have to poison these guys, huh? So remove one from each of them. We'll put two damage on this guy. Dude, just give me a priest, I suppose. And then we're going to deal two damage to him. This can go away. Oh, this is attached to him. You can, like, he's good, but you can definitely see he's, he's run out of juice, right? Like, Trish is still a lot more, um impressive than he is oh no fist bad all right and maybe you're gonna be the one that saves me and i mean i gotta play lure right we're gonna play a hiding spot over here and then i think i just i'm gonna Put a snare trap down. I do think Lure would have been good if there was actual like hunting enemies in this location, but there's not in this scenario, but there's not really. So it does, I think, go down in value because of that, but I do think it's still equally good with Parallel Pete. And then we go one, we go two, and I'm going to play Followed. Yes! Cross it off the list, baby! All right, we'll choose an enemy. We're going to choose this guy. And so we're at four, we're at six. I'm going to go, <laughs> I'm going to go eight. Yeah. The skulls are auto fails anyway. That ain't. Let's get additional clue. And I'll evade this guy. Really fun. And after the enemy phase, this is going to get discarded. This can come back here, put a damage there. And a damage there. One death away. And then we get out of here. But eight sign of the gods is so sick. So we get kidnapped as well. No! We get kidnapped. But that was a great time. This Ashcan Pete deck is something else. He's a very fun investigator. He takes a bunch of cards that otherwise would never be played. And then in turn plays them. And I think that's super sick. Makes me super happy to see it. I had a blast. And I think definitely, obviously, like, with refinement, you could take out some of the some of the traps and you could do even better with it. Uh, with poison, I thought it was, like, deal one damage to all enemies, but an enemy definitely brings it down in value, I think. So I don't even know if poisonous is worth it. But you could definitely see that it was kind of fragile in terms of uh, killing enemies. But I do think it has great enemy management. So it does that really well. 
And I do think that uh, Pete as a flex could be a really, excuse me, really fun time. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this gameplay of Parallel Ashcan Pete. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. And as always, a GG's.